So I'm Danny with Maverick Egg, and we're out here today, and we're going to do some mapping and some crop scouting with a multispectral. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to want to go into flight route and then create a route, and we're going to do mapping. So as you can see, since I'm connected to the internet or if you're connected to RTK, it'll find you where you are on the map, and then you can go to the field that you want to map, and then make sure you name it. And then you're going to want to select the cameras. So we are going to select the Mavic 3M for multispectral. And then we're going to do RGB and multispectral or the infrared. Then you can create your field that you want to map. After you have your boundaries, then you can select your settings, like our safe takeoff altitude is at 66 feet. We'll probably lower that. We'll do 55. We're going to put train follow on there, even though our field is relatively flat. You should always probably have train follow on there, especially because if you have that on, if you're using the multispectral to map for the T40, if you have train follow on, it'll help the T40 really well to also know how to follow that train just a little bit better instead of relying on sensors. So we're gonna change it to real-time follow because we don't have a DMS file to add on here today. So we'll leave the train follow height. For the takeoff speed, we're at 22, that looks good. For the mapping speed, we're at 19, that's good. Course angle, and then when it's done, it'll return to home. So all that looks good. All right, now that we got all our settings figured out, we're gonna take it off and basically let the drone do its thing. So after you save your field, you're gonna enter your camera view and then exit out of that. And then you wanna go over to this button in the top left corner with like the arrow. And then you'll have your fields that you have saved. So we just did Helen Egg, so I'll choose that one. All right, so then after you have your field chosen, you can go in the top left corner and press that play button, which will bring up a pre-flight checklist. If everything on there looks good and how you want it set, you can press next. And then it'll bring up a mapping checklist. So then you can also make sure that everything on there looks good. And then basically you upload the flight mission. You press next, it's gonna upload that mission, which in our case took a couple seconds, but it might take a little bit longer. So just make sure that you don't turn off your controller or your drone while you're doing that and just let it do its uploading. And then you press start. All right, so the drone just took off and now it's basically executing its flight mission. So on here within the controller, you can watch it through the camera. Start point. Starting task. All right, it arrived at its start point. <laughs> so now that it arrived at its point and it's starting its flight mission, you can actually watch the progress through the controller in map mode or you can go and watch it in its camera and you can watch as it's going. All right, so it just got done with its mission and now it's currently landing. So the multispectral landed and I didn't even touch the controls and we don't even have our RTK hooked up. So the, even with using uh, satellite GNSS, it's still that accurate. It's basically where it took off. So uh, here's the finished photo of our field. Now we were up about 200 feet in the air, so if you wanted maybe something more with a higher resolution and uh, something that you can see the crops more individually, you could go lower, uh, maybe suggest like 100 feet instead of 200 like we were. Just note though that if you are lower, it will take a little bit longer for because it's gonna need to overlap and take more pictures. Well, thanks for watching on our overview on how to map and crop scout a little bit with the multispectral. Stay tuned for some more videos, and I'm Danny with Maverick Agriculture, and we'll see you soon.